solid instrument that we have. This is a DNA sequencer that allows us to sequence large quantities of DNA. Uh, at a, at one, in one run, we can sequence as much as a billion sequences, which will cover the human genome several times. And the way the instrument works is we, we simply put a sample on a slide in this chamber, and all of the fluidics, and it's all controlled by a computer, and we can sample any piece of DNA or any RNA from any any source. So for, for example, one of the things that we're going to be using this instrument for is to look at cancer phenotypes. That is, if we take a particular cancer cell, we can look at all of the RNA that is produced in that cell and compare that with a normal cell, which will allow us to differentiate what's going on in the cancer cell at a global level so that we're able to identify not single genes that are being changed in the cancer cell, but all of the genes that are being changed in the cancer cell. So right now I'm working with some people at the cancer center and we're looking at the difference between tumors and normal tissues. We're also looking at how genes are expressed with proteins that bind to DNA because this instrument allows us to look at binding sites in DNA that are present in the entire genome. So with this instrument, we'll be able to advance things very quickly. One of the other projects that we're currently working on is a resequencing project, which means we're taking organisms that have already been sequenced and we're gonna sequence them again. And in this particular case, we're looking at tuberculosis. We have samples of TB that have been isolated from a recent outbreak, and we're going to be sequencing the entire genome of these organisms and identifying how the organisms are related to each other to find out if all of the organisms came from a single infected patient and then were passed on to other patients, or if the patients were uh, infected individually. So this type of high throughput sequencing allows us to answer questions that are global in nature because we don't need to identify specific genes that we're looking for, but we can look into across the whole spectrum.